Hey guys, welcome to Julian Tech Reviews. So today we are going to go into the first things you need to do when looking at your Samsung Galaxy 24 Ultra. So the first thing we're gonna get into is the new AI wallpapers now on Samsung. Let's see what we got here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tap and hold to pull up the wallpaper style menu as such and then we're going to go to change wallpapers and as you can see the creative area then you can go to generative and here you can uh, choose an array of items to start off with uh, for this one we're going to do uh, the mineral and as you go into mineral you have a couple of options a couple of toggles here so right now you can choose uh, the argonite and then you can choose a close-up image of Argonite with cute, with cool hues. And then we're gonna make that one metallic hues. And then you hit generate. And then once again, it's going to generate an AI wallpaper. Once again, on Samsung's new AI chip. And as you can see, these are the backgrounds you can choose from. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set my background by hitting the set button. And then you can apply it either to the last screen or home screen or both. So right now we're going to apply it to the home screen. And then hit next. And then as you can see, the one that we chose is here. But also you can look at the other AI backgrounds that were chosen. And as you can see, you can toggle through all of the ones that are nice. And today for this one, we're going to go with this one. And then hit done. And let's go to see our home screen. And voila, it's applied. All right, let's go into the next feature. So the next feature we're going to dive into is the AI artificial intelligence menu. And we're gonna do live translate. So the first thing we do is we go to our settings, which I have a button already here. You click on your Samsung account, and then you click artificial intelligence. And as you can see, there is a number of options here. So the first thing we're gonna do is get real-time translations. So I recommend that if you do have uh, this phone, automatically turn this one on because this is very useful. Now, when I saw, once I click it on, it'll give me the options below. Now, the, the reason that this feature is so great is that you can actually live translate uh, via text or via voice any language that is selected in the options down here. So for instance, if you're going to Mexico and you're on a phone call with somebody uh, that is Mexican and that speaks Spanish, you can actually live translate uh, over the phone or via text. And it'll also translate your English into Spanish uh, with somebody who speaks only Spanish. So as you can see the options here, I can select my language. So right now I'm going to select Spanish and we're just going to make sure everything is set and once we do that live translation is on all right so the next feature that we're going to dive into is the ai keyboard translation so the first thing we did with the translation was the voice uh translation but now we're going to dive into the keyboard translation so once again go to settings go to your samsung account select artificial intelligence and then select samsung keyboard as you can see the prompt will show up and i recommend you do turn this on if you are constantly uh, communicating with somebody a different language okay so then you select chat translation and make sure it's turned on okay you can select the style and grammar uh that'll uh turn on and then Let's say, instance, you want to generate a text message. Okay. So let's say you're sending a text message. Your keyboard shows up. Let me switch to the Samsung keyboard. <laughs> and let's say, for instance, you want to communicate with somebody and you're sending them a text message like, what's up, doc? There is an AI function right here. It's a sparkly symbol. 
So you can click that and then you can either do the chat translation, which is here and translate it to a different language. Right now it's in auto English and this prompt pulls up or you can go back and hit translation. You can change the writing style. So for instance, you can make it more professional. Hello, how may I assist you? Instead of what's up doc. Casual, hey, what's going on? Or social with emoticons. Uh, in emoji with a little gif, jiffy or, or whatnot. Okay, and let's say for instance, we're gonna do emojify. So we're gonna insert. And as you can see, it's translated there. And then the last option, you can check the spelling and the grammar. And instead of saying what's up doc with that emoticon, it's suggesting that it's just what's up and then comma doc. And you can insert that. Another cool AI feature brought to you by the AI, AI artificial intelligence by Samsung. Next, the AI feature that we're going to dive into is interpreter. So you do have an interpreter similar to Google's Translate. This is Samsung's version. So once again, you go to your Samsung account, you go to advanced intelligence and you click interpreter. And you, as you can see, the tap to talk is there, uh, the permissions and the voice style, and then you can select uh, which packs you want. So right now I have the Spanish pack and the Spanish United States uh, available. Um, and if you don't have it, then you can go ahead and download that pack here. For instance, we're gonna download the Chinese pack or you wanna download the German pack, you would do it right here. And the next thing we're gonna do is go out of the menu and then we're going to pull down the notifications and we're going to go into uh, the quick short icons here and then select interpreter. And then you have to give it permission and allow. And once again, you can go ahead and translate uh, as you're on the street, talking to somebody who speaks a different language than you. For anyways, you can say, buenos dias. Good morning. There you go. And then as you download more uh, languages, you can do the same thing. Good morning. Not available direction error. Hello. Not available direction error. Well, as you can see, once it's not downloaded all the way, it will not work. Hello. Not available direction error. Hello, I'm from America. Can you help me? Not available direction error. Now, if you're getting that, what you have to do is make sure that it's fully installed. So as you can see, it is installed. The voice input is there. Okay, and then let's just click out of this interpreter. And then let's go back into that. And let's try it again. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. Well, so that was the solution. And let's go back to the Chinese one. Hi, hello, my name is Julian. Can you show me where uh, the rice bowls are? Hi, Julian. This is amazing. And I suggest you turn that on. The feature that we're gonna talk about is the voice recording feature in the AI menu. We go to voice recorder, and then we go to some reason, make sure this is turned on. Okay, and then we go back to the home page and I already have voice recorder uh, app downloaded to the home screen. And then you click voice recorder. And then I already have a recording of myself, so I'm going to hit transcribe. And I'm gonna transcribe it to English. And as you can see, it separates the voice recording by speakers. So I have one speaker and I have uh, the other speaker and it's properly separated it. Now, here's the cool part. There is a summary feature, just in case you're in a speech and they wanted to tell you about every single thing in your, in your class and you're falling asleep, but the voice recording is still going. It summarizes it for you. And as you can see, the summary has properly transcribed and summarized the statement that I made for this uh, voice recording. How amazing is that? Okay, the next feature that we're gonna talk about 
is the summarization of the page of the internet. So let's say for instance, you're on a website and you have a page with a full of a journal and you just want to get straight to the point. Well, you don't have to necessarily read the entire thing, but you can summarize it using AI. Let's see how we can do that. The first thing we do is go back to our advanced intelligence uh, menu, and then we go to the Samsung internet section here. Uh, just a disclaimer, you need to have the Samsung internet in order for you to use this. <clears throat> it will not work with Chrome at the moment, but uh, we're gonna use the Samsung internet to summarize, translate, what we see on that page. So once again, you go to the summarize section and make sure it's turned on and go to the translate section. Everything's good here. And now we're going to go to the Samsung internet app. Okay. So now I'm on Android central. So for instance, if I want to go to one of these articles, it's full of a lot of words and I don't have time to read it. So what we're going to do is we're going to summarize, translate it. So once again, you're going to hit the Samsung specific AI artificial intelligence button here, and you're going to hit OK to translate web pages. And right now we're going to translate it or here, excuse me. And then we're going to hit summarize. Now, as you can see, some pages are able to summarize and some are not. And as you can see, it pulls the complete page and all of the summarization of each one of the sections. Now, if you wanted a little bit more detailed version of this, you can hit this little detail button down here and then hit done. And it has a more robust summarization of what that page is showing. How cool is that? I need this in my life. I'm not sure about you. <laughs> okay, so the next feature we're gonna talk about, uh, this relates to our photos and taking the picture. It's called the AI generative fill-in. So for instance, if you take a picture and it's slightly angled wrong and you want to make it straight, uh, the AI fill-in feature will create, recreate the background and make it nice and neat. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the photo uh, camera and we're going to go to this nice picture of chicken wings here, chicken strips. And let's say for instance, we want this to either cut out or make this more filled in the background. What we'll do is we'll hit the edit button here and we'll click the generative AI feature here. If you don't have that already on your camera when you edit, you can go back and go to the three dots up the top right here and click settings and generative edit. And then you can hit the on button here. Okay, so let's hit that button. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tilt it. And can only go to 15 degrees both ways. And as you can see, the pixelated background is here. So we're gonna hit generate. And as you can see, it's created extended background and it's slightly angled. And if you can see the original compared to this one, and I think it's a very neat feature to correct some of your photos and editing. Cool. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to work on in the AI category is video editing and automatic slow down speed. So with the AI feature on the Samsung S24 Ultra and all the S class uh, series, you can slow down uh, videos that are not in slow motion already. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our gallery. Okay, and we're going to see a video here that was already pre-selected and we're going to hit play. So as you can see, I'm looking at the phone and then if you tap and you hold, it creates a slow motion effect on the video. Now let's say for instance you like how the slow motion is working and you want to make it permanent. You click this edit button here. Okay, you can hit adjust speed and you can either go faster or slower in this particular cut. So as you see I'm going half speed here. I'm going to change it to go one eighth of a speed. Then I'm going to go full on speed. Very cool, neat little feature. That 
another feature that the Samsung phone has is the dual record option. So for instance, if you're a social media creator or YouTuber and you want to react to a certain video um, at the same time you're recording it, you can just do that with this option. So you can go to more and you go to dual record. And as you can see, this is background on my table with my hands and I'm also uh, recording at the same time, which is awesome. And then you can change the layout at the top right here. So you can go half screen, split view, go sideways, or you can do it this way. And then you can also do the split view. Okay. And then you can also select which type of lenses you want to use. You want to use the ultra wide or you want to use the wide angle or the telephoto lens. I just think that's amazing. All right, one of the last features that I wanted to show you regarding the AI uh, feature on Samsung is the circle search and navigate. So for instance, let's say you want to, uh, you're scrolling on a website and you see your product that you like. And let's say you want to see if you can get a better price somewhere. You would push your butt, put your finger on there and hold down and this AI feature will show up. Then you circle it. And what it'll do is it'll create a search function for you to get you quicker to what you want to see. For instance, if you want that messy jersey, you would do it again. Oops, let's select it first. Hold it down and then you circle it. And then we can find it for you. And as you can see, that jersey is $120 on this side and $210 on the other website. How amazing is that? All right, that's all the features that we have today. Thank you for joining. Uh, comment below if you have any uh, questions or any other uh, features that I may have missed. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.